friends, Jerry Rosa here in the Rosa String Works Workshop. It is Wednesday. We had a good jam last night, uh, Tuesday evening, at the Dickies Barbecue in Rolla, Missouri. And when I say jam, it's really our band practice is really what it amounts to. Finally dusting off some of those old tunes that we haven't done since before COVID. You know, it's kind of a learning curve again, but we're having fun with it. And uh, had a pretty good crowd there last night for a change. It's starting to catch on. People are starting to hear about it, and they're starting to show up. So if you're ever in the area on a Tuesday evening, uh, you know, around 6, uh, anywhere from 6 to 8.30 or so, uh, we'll be at the Dickies Barbecue there in Rolla, Missouri. Anyway, uh, moving on to the next thing. I am not a weather watcher, not at all. I like almost when the weather comes on, I generally turn the channel because I, I just, you know, don't care to hear what they have to say most of the time. However, this morning, it kind of caught my attention because they were making it uh, look pretty bad pretty fast because of uh, the fact that they actually went out on location where the storms are going to hit. Now, I'm not, I really haven't seen that much before where they actually go out, you know, I mean, like on a big hurricane or something. Yeah, they do that. But on like just a thunderstorm <laughs> and winds and things, they, they're out on location here in Missouri. And, and they didn't name Valley Springs Ranch, but they were pointing to it <laughs> on the map. So I'm kind of concerned. Right now, it's a super lull. I mean, like, you know, the lull before the storm, that's what's making me wonder. I mean, it's like it's just as still as just, it's not, no wind, nothing. Now, it's been crazy windy the last several days. Right now, it's like dead still, and it's raining. And uh, they are saying that there's going to be 70 mile an hour winds. Uh, you know, that's crazy. That's like hurricane. And uh, there's going to be, uh, you know, crazy lightning and thunderstorms. And so I woke my wife up to see if she needed to do anything because she's the outdoor person around here and to see if she had anything outside that she wanted to take care of because uh, it sounds like it's going to get ugly. So she's putting her horses in the barn and things like that. Uh, just coincidentally, the other day it was so windy here, I went up and I nailed the tin back down really tightly and screwed it down on the front of my shop here because it was rattling and I thought, boy, it's, you know, it's getting, it's going to pull it loose, you know. Well, I'm glad I secured that down because it sounds like it's going to need it today for sure. Well, enough about that. Uh, you know, it hasn't happened yet, so it may be another one of those situations where the weathermen got it all wrong. But in case they got it right, I, you know, we're trying to prepare here. Um, catch you up on where I'm at on the mandolin here. Again, you will see the full-blown series eventually in, a vid in videos where I go into the detail. I'm just showing you kind of a little bit here and a little bit there of what I've done since the last update. Okay. You can see here I got it kind of wrapped up and you may wonder, well, why has he got that all wrapped up? Well, it's because I've started putting the binding on the back. As we talked, I've decided to live with this color. I think it, to me, as I mentioned, you know, being fat, dumb, and happy like I am, colorblind, it looks good to me. So i just going with it. You guys told me that it's good, so I'm going to say it's good. I was, my biggest concern, the reason I was so bummed was that I was afraid everybody was going to go, oh, I can't believe he made it that color after all this work, you know. But you're all saying it's okay, so I'm going to go with it. Uh, you know, you don't know what you don't know. Well, I'm unwinding all this rubber here. This is just a long piece of inner tube that I took a scissors and cut a long strip. I tried to keep the strip around three quarters of an inch uh, wide. Uh, I get a little narrow in a place or two and a little wide in a place or two, but I just, I just did it by eye and I just went around the circle of an inner tube and just kept cutting and kept cutting and kept cutting. I tell you what, I don't know how I live without this all these years. I only did this a few years ago and uh, this, this is very handy. It really is. You, if you don't have an inner tube like this, uh, I really recommend you get one. Uh, rubber bands are okay, long rubber bands, but they're not near as strong as this. This is way stronger, and it works really good. And you can see here how I've forced all that in there. This is real wood binding, and it's curly maple on top of that, 
and you know we're going around this tight curl and yeah and this bend oh my goodness yeah this was not an easy thing and I and it's still got little cracks and stuff like there's a crack here and there I tried to use this to pull it as tight as I could and I did do pretty well what I'm planning to do now is take like a burnishing tool and burnish this back in and super glue it in as I you know I'll see I glue it and then burnish it in and hopefully it'll stay in uh, where these little tiny cracks are I don't think you'll see them once we sand it and everything but you know, it could be that I'll end up tearing this whole mess back out of here. I, there, there's a close-up of it. It doesn't look that great right now, i got to be honest. But, you know, you got to clean it all up and sand it down and smooth it out and all that. And, you know, based on my experience, uh, having done this quite a bit, I would say this looks fine. I think it's going to be... It's actually a little better than I was anticipating. <laughs> so I'm happy with it. I hope it turns out okay. It probably looks like heck right now, but I think I can make that look real nice. So we're just gonna have to go with that for now. I've got the next piece bent, and so this next piece here will be the next piece I put in, and we'll have to 45 it at the corners here and make this work out. Okay, enough on that. Another thing I started, now this is not going to be very good on the camera because it's very, very light pencil drawing. Um, I think you can see it though. And you can see I'm drawing, I'm just hand drawing a vine. And I, I don't know, I'll take them out of this little bag. I don't think you're going to be able to see them through this bag very well. Um, and of course on camera that's not going to work. I can't get this bag open. Okay, there it is. It's one of those little tiny Ziploc bags and it's zipped shut. Okay, let me pour these out in my hand here. And of course they turn all upside down. I'll try to show them to you just so you can see. I'll try to turn them one direction so that it, it'll make more sense. But those are the little, it's, those will be my position dots. They're little roses. And I cut those out yesterday. I think this one's nine millimeters. I think this one's seven and a half. This one's six and a half millimeters tall. And so up here, the big ones will go in, the, in these first four. And then the next two small ones will go here. And then the tiniest one will go back down here. And uh, it's just a vine. And I haven't, you know, I'm going to have to make this darker. And then I'm going to have to scan this into Inkscape. And the reason I put this diagonal on this page is because this page will fit in my laser cutter and then once I figure out the angle I think I can get my whole fretboard in here and cut the whole slot and everything and it should be perfect then um, and it'll save a lot of work but I, as far as I can tell this angle across here is um, 37 and a half degrees and now that's all just measuring with um, you know, analog measuring tools. Uh, when I put it actually in the uh, Inkscape, I'll be able to tilt it and everything and, and, and fine tune that degree and hopefully get it right on this center line and I'll line that all up in my laser cutter and then I should be able to just lay this in here and everything should be hunky-dory and it should be really perfect. My idea is, uh, you know, these will be the natural yellow roses just like I have on the rest of the mandolin. And then my idea is to leave the vine itself white and maybe make the leaves green. That's, that's my idea. I don't know if that's the way I'm going to end up. I might make the whole thing green. I really don't know. But I kind of like the idea of mixing it up a little bit. Again, you know, I'm probably not the best on choosing those colors. <laughs> it just is what it is and uh, for those of you out there who haven't read the whole shirt there you go my daughter sent me this one yeah the the taste of sadness I actually would have reworded this I, I told I told her when she bought this one I said well had you consulted me on the wording on this one I would have said lettuce a waste of great compost for growing potatoes <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much the way I feel about lettuce. You know, most people say lettuce has no taste. It doesn't, it doesn't, 
to me, lettuce, I'm, I'm, I'm not kidding you, now I'm not saying this for dramatic effect, but lettuce has is one of the strongest, most horrible, horrific tastes in, on the planet. And you go, oh, it can't be. Well, it is, because I taste chlorophyll, and apparently lettuce has a lot of chlorophyll. I mean, it tastes horrible. I, I can't even tell you how bad it tastes. There is not one chance on this green earth that I could eat a piece of lettuce and get it to go down. And I'm not exaggerating, you may think I'm making this up, but I can go out and take a tree leaf and eat a tree leaf before I can eat a piece of lettuce. That's how weird my taste buds are. Yeah, I, that's not an exaggeration, that's a black and white fact. Anyway, that was a side, you know, that didn't cost you any extra for that information. <laughs> it's just that I had this shirt on, so I had to explain it. That's where we're headed today. That's what I'll be working on. Every time I put that up there, the camera washes out, so I guess I have to quit putting that up there. So that's where I'm headed today. I'm going to try to do a little more on the binding, and I'm going to try to start working on this uh, fingerboard. And as I mentioned before, hopefully a lot of this detail will be covered in the actual video on the series. Keep me in your prayers for the weather today. <laughs> as it look, you know, according to the weathermen, this is going to be an ugly one. So uh, I'm just hoping that uh, they're wrong in this case. This would be one time I'd be happy that they're wrong. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.